Well, hello, Internet. Previously, I made a review video for the MakeBlock X-Tool D1 laser cutter, laser etcher, and a lot of you guys seem to like it. So I thought I would go over some accessories and some of the new designs and things that I was able to make. And I guess I sort of came across as like the guy who never used a laser cutter, laser etcher, and made some really cool things. So I'm just going to stick with that. I made some cool stuff. Look at that. That's pretty neat. All right. So what accessories are we going to talk about today? I'm going to show you six projects, something like that. Well, one of the accessories is I got this honeycomb panel. It also has like a chunk of, it has a metal sheet behind it. And that's just used to protect your working surface so you don't destroy it with your laser cutter or your laser rutcher. And then I also got a hold of their new rotary tool. This is the second rotary tool. It comes with all these different accessories. This is something that I went and made, which I think is pretty awesome. And there's some accessories for it. There's some more accessories for it. Very easy to put together for a person that has no experience working with laser cutters or etchers. And I was able to go and etch multiple different things. This is I'm just going to show you a couple things. This is a bottle that I was able to create, and it looks pretty cool. Let's see if I can get this in perspective. Eh, all right, there we are. And you can go and do all sorts of etching and such, but I'm going to show you a whole bunch of different projects as we work along here. When I show you the wave and exactly how I made it and the settings that I used. So what I did was I took a whole bunch of these different EPS files that we have right here. And those are the different layers for our wave that I worked with. And then I went and threw them into the software that's provided. It's called Laserbox Basic. And if you want to see exactly, I just used the default material and power 100 and one pass. And I was able to cut out all the individual layers for my wave. And then you can see that it's cutting out everything. It's it, This thing is so ridiculously precise. It's so precise that whenever I, like a couple times, whenever I thought I could cut through a certain type of material with one pass and it didn't work, I just went and said, well, let's go and try to go and cut it with a second pass. Didn't move anything and it automatically went and cut perfectly every single time. So that was just a demonstration of it cutting through paper. Can cut through much stronger materials though. And you can see here the finished product. So see, there's all the individual pieces of paper and then you lay them over top of each other. I'm not a, the greatest artist, but I think this looks really, really cool. Let's go and get it stable. So that's what I, one of the most recent things that I went and cut and I think I was really proud of it and thought it would look really neat. So, and that's just how simple it is. You just go get the individual layers, you put them in there and it cuts them out and then you lay them on top of each other. That's how easy that is. So the very next thing that I did was I thought it would be neat to go and make a cat toy for my cat, obviously. And again, I just have these different files. You don't need Illustrator. You can use Inkscape. You can use basically any type of vector software, and it all works great. So you can see there's my EPS file that I have. And you can see here I opened up the software, switched it over to corrugated cardboard, 3.5 millimeters, power at 100, speed 9 millimeters per second, number of passes equal to 1, and then it's a square, so it was just 300 by 300, and I'm cutting corrugated cardboard, of course. And you can see here, it's cutting out everything. One thing whenever I'm working with corrugated cardboard, though, or paper in general, is I always go and I tape down the edges, and everything cuts out really great, and it goes right through the corrugated cardboard at that specific width very easily on the first path. And you can see here my cat sort of kind of playing with it. My cat, <laughs> she's not terribly excited with it, but uh, that is what it, what it ended up looking like, which was exactly what I was aiming to have it work like. And I just wish my cat would play with it more. <laughs> then after that, what I did was, again, I'm just using EPS files here. I went and got these cool looking designs for little rabbits because Easter was coming up. And I thought it would be kind of neat to give these rabbits away as presents for Easter. And you can see a couple of them right here. See, there's multiple different layers. There's one, two, three, four, five different layers for each of the rabbits. I don't, these ones aren't painted. The other ones were painted, but I gave those away. And you can see, I think they came out really, really neat. I mean, it's just, it's, this to make these cost almost nothing. And to think that well, I can just go and it also works as a fun little thing for my kids to paint and, you know, pretty neat. And you can see right here exactly how I laid out all the rabbits all on this basswood and you can see the laser cutter cutting through them. And then I did something really what I think is pretty cool. I made a bowl 
And again, this is made out of just basswood and you can see here the settings for it. So basswood, three millimeter, power 100, speed five millimeters per second. And the number of passes, I would, took it up to two to cut through this. And then after I put it through, you can see here is the finished bowl. So it's pretty neat. And this was just a flat surface that I was able to cut out and insert the, in, the arms or whatever you would call this on the side of the bowl. And so who would have thought I could make a bowl out of a flat object. So also I thought that was pretty fun. Then I went and did a project, a bunch of projects with the rotary tool. And this was one that I made for my daughter. You can see the settings here. I was going and etching on coated metal. So of course I changed it to coated metal, power 100, speed 70 millimeters per second, number of passes one, 76.2 millimeters, which works out to being about three inches. And you have to, of course, turn it on the side. And in this situation, in this uh, perspective, if the bottle is facing this way, so you are etching on it, then that is exactly how it is going to etch. And of course, I could do multiple different passes if I wanted to get a lighter different color on it. But I thought that worked pretty well for what I was aiming to do. Then I was able to get, again, a bunch of different ping files and I made some coasters on some little coasters that I also got from MakeBlock. And I'm gonna show you those. And here's how they turned out, all right? So pretty neat stuff. There's a cat, there is a frog, and there is a chicken again. Yes, my daughter named Ivy, if you guessed. She likes chickens. And then I like chess and I made this coaster, all right? So there you go. I Hopefully that helps some people. Oh, one thing to know is whenever you're using the rotary tool, you need these risers. And I specifically use three of them on each side. So they just connect and then there's like a little rubber foot that goes on the bottom. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'm always happy to answer any questions or comments down below. So otherwise, till next time.